Have you ever wondered how it feels to be lost in space, with no immediate help available? Imagine that. The vast expanse of space stretching out before you, distant stars twinkling like distant dreams, and the humbling realization that you're just a speck in the grand cosmos. This was the reality for the crew of the Apollo 13 mission. Launched in 1970, Apollo 13 was a testament to human ambition and ingenuity. It was the seventh crewed mission in NASA's Apollo space program and was intended to land on the moon. The crew consisted of three astoundingly brave men, Jim Lovell, Jack Swigert, and Fred Hayes. Their objective was clear, land on the moon, explore its surface, and safely return to Earth. A mission that seemed simple on paper but was a monumental task in reality. But why venture into the vast unknown cosmos? Why risk life and limb to touch the stars? Well, space exploration is about more than just satisfying our curiosity. It's about pushing the boundaries of human knowledge, about understanding our place in the universe, and about inspiring generations to dream bigger, reach further, and strive harder. The risks are high, yes, but the rewards, they're infinite. Yet with every journey into the unknown, there's an element of danger. Space is a hostile environment and the smallest of errors can have catastrophic consequences. The men of Apollo 13 knew this, but they were prepared. They had trained for years, had the best equipment available, and were backed by some of the sharpest minds on the planet. They were ready to face the challenges that lay ahead. However, no amount of training or preparation could have predicted what was to come. Space, in its infinite mystery, had a cruel twist of fate in store for these intrepid explorers. As they embarked on their mission, they carried with them the hopes and dreams of an entire world. Little did these brave astronauts know, their journey into the unknown would soon turn into a desperate fight for survival. April 11, 1970. A day marked by anticipation and excitement. The world held its breath as the Apollo 13 mission, a testament to human courage and ingenuity, launched successfully into the blue yonder. Aboard were three brave astronauts, Jim Lovell, Jack Swigert, and Fred Hayes. Their mission? To land on the moon and return safely to Earth. The initial days in space were filled with optimism. The crew, riding high on the adrenaline of the launch, worked diligently and professionally, carrying out tasks with a sense of purpose. They were not just astronauts, they were ambassadors of humanity, reaching out to the stars. The world below was equally captivated, glued to their televisions and radios, hanging on to every update. This was not just a mission, it was a shared human experience, a testament to our collective aspiration to explore the unknown. But just when everything seemed to be going smoothly, disaster struck. Two days into the mission, an oxygen tank exploded, crippling their spacecraft. Our tale of crisis in space begins with an unexpected jolt. A routine procedure to stir the oxygen tanks led to a catastrophic explosion, a calamity that would forever alter the course of the Apollo 13 mission. One of the two oxygen tanks, vital for both life support and the service module's propulsion system, blew up. The explosion was so severe that it caused damage to several surrounding systems and left the spacecraft practically crippled. The immediate aftermath was a scene of confusion and disbelief. The astronauts were thrown into chaos, their spacecraft shuddering violently from the explosion. They could see a cloud of debris trailing behind them, a chilling testament to the severity of their situation. They were over 200,000 miles from home, drifting in the vast emptiness of space with a damaged spacecraft. Back on Earth, mission control at Houston was initially baffled. The data streaming in made little sense. The spacecraft was losing power and life-supporting oxygen at an alarming rate. But the calm and composed voices of the astronauts, coupled with the tireless dedication of the ground crew, began to piece together the grim reality. Engineers and scientists scrambled to understand the extent of the damage and devise a plan to save the astronauts. They had to think on their feet, innovate, and improvise like never before. The crew aboard Apollo 13 too, demonstrated remarkable courage and calm under pressure. Despite the life-threatening circumstances, they followed the instructions relayed from mission control, working tirelessly to stabilize their crippled spacecraft. With the lunar landing now out of the question, the focus shifted to bringing the astronauts safely back home. It was a race against time, a desperate struggle for survival that gripped the world's attention. The Apollo 13 mission had quickly turned from a voyage of exploration and discovery to a harrowing rescue mission. Adrift 200,000 miles from Earth, the astronauts were faced with a grim reality. 
In the cold, silent expanse of space, the crew of Apollo 13 found themselves in a desperate fight for survival. In the confines of their spacecraft, they were forced to confront the harsh realities of their situation. The cold was an ever-present adversary. With their power supply compromised, the once comforting hum of the spacecraft systems fell silent. The temperature plummeted, and the crew were left to huddle together for warmth in the freezing conditions. Yet the cold was only one aspect of their ordeal. The lack of power meant that the life-supporting systems of the spacecraft were severely impaired. The carbon dioxide levels began to rise and the threat of asphyxiation loomed over the crew. In addition to these life-threatening conditions, the crew had to ration their supplies. Every sip of water, every bite of food, every breath of oxygen had to be carefully measured. The scarcity of resources was a constant reminder of their precarious situation, adding to the psychological strain of their plight. But in the face of these challenges, the spirit of human ingenuity shone through. The crew and mission control worked tirelessly, improvising solutions to the problems they faced. They devised a way to use the lunar module, initially intended to land on the moon, as a lifeboat, providing them with a source of power and life support. They managed to adapt the carbon dioxide scrubbers from the command module to fit the lunar module, a feat likened to fitting a square peg in a round hole. This ingenious solution averted the immediate threat of asphyxiation, buying the crew precious time. Throughout their ordeal, the astronauts remained resolute. They faced each challenge with courage and determination, their unwavering spirit a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. Despite the odds, they refused to give up. The story of Apollo 13 is not just a tale of a mission gone wrong, it's a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity a testament to our ability to overcome even the most desperate situations with ingenuity and determination. After what must have felt like an eternity, the Apollo 13 crew finally splashed down in the Pacific Ocean on April 17. The world held its collective breath as the astronauts of Apollo 13 re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, their spacecraft fragile and damaged. When news broke of their safe return, a wave of relief washed over nations. The Apollo 13 mission had become a global event, transcending borders and politics, uniting people in their hope for the crew's survival. The safe return of the Apollo 13 astronauts was an overwhelming victory, but it was also a stark reminder of the inherent risks of space travel. The mission's failure necessitated a thorough investigation. NASA, the world's leading space agency, had to confront its shortcomings. They had to understand what went wrong and more importantly, how to prevent such a catastrophe from happening again. The subsequent investigation revealed a breakdown in the design and testing of the spacecraft's oxygen tank. It was a hard truth to swallow but it was an essential lesson. It highlighted the importance of meticulous attention to detail in every aspect of a spacecraft's design and construction, and it underscored the need for rigorous testing of all components under conditions that closely mimic those of space. These insights led to significant changes in the approach to space missions. Risk management became a cornerstone of space exploration. Redundancy and contingency planning took on a new level of importance. The lessons learned from Apollo 13 served as a guiding light for future missions, shaping the way we explore the stars and paving the way for subsequent successes. Apollo 13's legacy is not defined by its failure but rather by the lessons it imparted. It taught us about the indomitable human spirit, about the power of teamwork and collaboration, and about the importance of learning from our mistakes. It reminded us that even in the most dire of circumstances, we can find a way to persevere, to innovate, and to triumph. The Apollo 13 mission, a testament to human resilience and ingenuity, remains a crucial chapter in the annals of space exploration. So, what does the story of Apollo 13 teach us? The tale of Apollo 13 is not just about a near disaster in space. It's a testament to human resilience and ingenuity in the face of unfathomable odds. It underlines the importance of teamwork, quick thinking, and the indomitable spirit of exploration that drives us to venture into the unknown. The Apollo 13 mission serves as a stark reminder of the risks and rewards of space exploration. It shows us the necessity of continuous learning and improvement, of pushing our boundaries, and of not being afraid to fail. It underscores the fact that every venture into space is a journey of discovery and a chance to expand our knowledge about the universe we inhabit. In the grand scheme of things, Apollo 13 was not a failure but a successful failure. It was an invaluable learning experience that helped shape the future of space exploration. 
In the vast unknown of space every mission every challenge and every failure is but a stepping stone to greater achievements.